I don't have beef. Okay. And just to like, um, like say that, I don't have beef with a guy who doesn't even know me. I'm just saying the dude is not a great person as he puts out to be. He hides a lot. And when you cut a lot of part out of your film, like when you, if you go search up the dude right now, which I, is his how it's like pretty much I'm supporting him right now saying to go watch his video. If you watch his video, you'll see it's cut out a lot. And out of those cutouts, you won't see what's actually behind the scenes because he cuts it out. And you see what you want to see, but you don't see what's behind the scenes. What I'm saying is like he puts on a different act than how he is behind the scenes. I'm t I've, I have to find that video and I have to post it. Like I have a video of him and he was like interviewing this girl at the parking lot who was in his car, like knew him clearly and they were making a video. And I was like, dude, like it's so obvious. Like you're not actually hidden. That's what I'm saying. Everyone literally acts different on camera. No, I'm not saying that. Oh my gosh, geez, you guys are taking this way out of proportion. Anyway, um, yeah, if you're an influencer, you would kind of understand like where he's coming from. By the end of the day, the thing is like so many influencers do so many things that they don't like want to do, but they got to do it because like they're an influencer. They got to put out the content that everyone wants. But anyway, that is the end of that story. But that's what I wanted to get to because at the end of the day, that was that. That was that. Wait. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice your missed fake time call. Oopsies. I was live. But yeah, I'm back. Just back at normal. Um, I'm totally drinking water. I mean, it's kind of clear-ish. So. Literally give me a topic to talk about anything and I would literally talk about it. Actually, except for politics. I don't talk about politics. So like, give, like I would literally, like you have no idea. I got so, I felt so, I feel so heated right now just talking about this kid. Just like, I would even want to take this off because like I'm so heated about this kid. And the amount of people I know who actually know the kid is funny. It's really funny. Stop talking about him. Okay, I won't talk about him anymore then. I'm trying to ask you guys for a different topic. So anyway, how is everyone? How is everyone doing at this amazing, give us relationship advice. Well, what about relationship advice do you want to know? There's so many things I could talk about, about relationships. I need a specific question. I don't know anything about Harry Potter. Start a YouTube channel, god damn it. I could start a YouTube channel, but I'm not becoming that dude. Fuck them. I'll like, I'll just stay on TikTok. I can make vlogs TikTok style instead, rather than YouTube, because I don't really know a lot about editing. I could start, but like, I don't know a lot about editing. So like, I wouldn't need my TikTok to actually edit because I just suck at that stuff. I was a photo listen, I was a photographer for my school, both schools, high school and college. But at the end of the day, I don't know how to edit. I just take the pictures and I just let them do what they need to do with the pictures. I like, when I was in high, okay, story time. When I was in high school, I was the high school photographer and I would go in between classes. This is when like, kind of like COVID was like, not even COVID started, but like, when it was like kind of nonchalant, I just needed pictures for the yearbook because it, there was like a huge thing going on. And so anyway, I had permission to just go in between classes during my free period to go and take pictures. So I'd take pictures of everyone, I'd get every, everything done, excuse me. And so anyway, I would go and take pictures, but the thing is I wasn't the one editing them. I was the one who just sent them in and whoever wanted to edit them to put them into the yearbook put them in the yearbook. So if I showed you my actual yearbook from my like actual like hometown school, you'll see that like I put all, I actually took half of like literally 75% of those photos and they just put into the yearbook. 
And at the end of the day, they spelt my name wrong. They spelt it wrong. And I wish I was kidding, but they spelled it, my last name wrong. They spelled it with an N instead of an M. And I was so pissed off. I was so pissed off. And I wish I was kidding, but I was so pissed off. I was so pissed off. I was like, you could have given me recognition, but even by my actual name, you had to give me a fake name? Like, are you fucking kidding me? I did so much for you guys. But at the end of the day, I was moving schools, so I didn't really care. But like having my name in that yearbook, I was like, come on, come on. I just took all your pictures, sports, class, like pep rallies, like, and you're telling me that I'm getting no credit because my you spelled my name wrong? Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, I am ranting about how they spell my name wrong. Listen, when you've been in that, like, in that district for so long and you've been known for your name and they spelled your name wrong, like, people are just like, okay, I know this is not how they spell her name, but I know of her. And I'm like, I just, it pissed me off so much. It just really did, but I didn't really care. I need a punching bag. I do need a punching bag. The amount of like stress I'm going through right now is insane. It's actually literally insane. It was embarrassing stomach growling. It was in, um, I could say in uh, college. I was in, it was my freshman year, spring semester, and I was in my, um, my nursing class, one of my nursing classes, and my stomach growled, and she went silent. The one moment she went silent, she was like, I'm gonna give you guys five minutes to just like write whatever you need. My stomach growled and I was so embarrassed because everyone heard it. I need to see your comments because I can't see anything. From my Jasmine in high school and they spelled my name wrong. See, you get mad though, because like, it's like I'm doing so much for you, but you can't even spell my name right. My hands look really big, they do? Okay, well, cool. That's awesome to know. Okay, I'm 19. I turned 20 in two weeks. And do you guys want to know the best part that's honestly been making me go through a mental breakdown? Um, at the end of the day, um, I'm not doing anything for my birthday. And my family won't even be here. And, um, like, I, like, I don't know. I've just been doing so many things on my birthday that... It's like, it's always been so special to me and I'm trying not to like tear up right now, but like, it's just kind of upsetting how no one really acknowledges my birthday, but it's okay. Cause I know like a lot of people go through stuff. So like, you can't be like available, but at the same time, like, I don't know, it's upsetting.